I've had a long and, you know, no, no. I've been thinking about this for a while. Something I've spoken about many times on this podcast, but I really struggle to kind of get my head around um, what works and what doesn't work on social and on the internet. Even though I've been online for a while and I'm obviously trying to do my own thing, but just as a consumer of stuff and a, as a watcher of, of, of things, as a viewer, wherever it may be, I'm always thinking about like, how come this works and that doesn't work? I mean, it's always kind of playing in my mind, that sort of stuff. And when it comes to lo locales, it's even more interesting because usually locales are usually people who have very reprehensible or distasteful personalities or character traits about them. But for whatever reason, they garner a huge following online or they're able to kind of support themselves. Um... <laughs> Bloody say, Hotel in Bora Bora, damn, Hotel. <laughs> okay, don't get me wrong. Bora Bora isn't Afghanistan, I understand, but still, you know, he's Army Hammer, he's a Hollywood actor. To be working in flipping in a hotel as a receptionist is not, you know what I mean? He shouldn't, his life's work should be acting. I mean, that's what he's been blessed with in terms of a talent. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, working in a hotel is a flipping, that's the, that's like, that's the equivalent of working in a flipping McDonald's for him. It should be anyway. Anyway, it continues. Locals have abhorrent personalities and it always kind of perplexes me why they seem to be really successful despite their reprehensible and almost, um, you know, barfing level, cringe levels of personality. It just doesn't make sense to me. I can't work it out. But over the course of watching a lot of people and consuming a lot of content, one thing that really stuck out to me that I thought was really a cheat code that a lot of these people have that a lot of people don't recognize is delusion. I honestly think delusion is one of the main secret ingredients and secrets, yeah, secret ingredients and the secret sauce that you need to be successful online. To the point where I think delusion is similar to like lack of shame or being shameless actually, or, ha or not having the capability of being embarrassed is a key ingredient to being content creator and being successful. Why do I say that? Have you ever tried to record yourself um, talking into your camera of your phone on social media and stuff when you're walking on the street and then someone sees you doing it and you immediately clam up and get embarrassed. That's what most people are like. Most people get shy. But if you want to be a content creator, you have to kind of, you know, uh, be comfortable in that shyness or kind of get over it that people are looking at you and they think you're ridiculous, especially if you're like recording a TikTok video and shit. I think the same thing is with delusion. Delusion is a key ingredient because in order to get online like I am, to sit here in front of, what, 139 viewers and whatnot, and to be ranting into the camera using this flipping shitty web, you know, Amazon headphones I got on and wearing a stinky camo jacket and these shitty glasses and the do-rag on and think anyone cares about what I say, I have to be a little bit delusional, right? I have to be a little bit delusional. <laughs> and you need it in order to be successful. And I think the real successful people are the ones that really believe in their delusion. Like, they are believing it to the core and I think a good example of it, the best example of it we have is Brendan Schaub. And this clip to me demonstrates why this guy is successful monetarily and maybe quote unquote career wise, maybe not in terms of life. Maybe some of you guys wouldn't want his life and whatnot, his personal relationship or whatnot. But in terms of like having a mansion, driving the fast cars, you know, having whatever, having the ability to do what he wants, da, 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 da. this is why he's successful. Because despite us all thinking he's not funny and that he sucks at comedy, this is his reaction to him watching himself on screen telling a joke. You know how most comedians are embarrassed when somebody asks them, can you do a joke? Or they don't like watching themselves perform or they don't like listening to themselves. Look at his reaction as he's watching himself on screen. He's really amused and chuffed and giggling along to himself on this clip. He's like, wow, that guy's so funny. He's hilarious. Wow, that guy's amazing. He legitimately thinks he's funny, like in his head. And that might be the reason why his comedy isn't great, because I think you have to, you have, to have a little bit of a, you have to be a little bit self-deprecating, I'd imagine, in stand-up comedy to be funny. You have to have the ability to, to like, you know, insult yourself and to see all your flaws before somebody else sees them in order to see the flaws in others. But he legitimately 
legitimately thinks he's Richard Pryor. He thinks he's Dave Chappelle. He is like, he is flipping Louis C.K. in his head, legitimately thinks that. And also, have you ever seen any other stand-up comedian, any other stand-up comedian, look at themselves on stream or on their podcast, sorry, and um, and legitimately enjoy what they're watching? Most of them like, oh, they're skipping. No, 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 let's move it. Let's get myself off the screen. They don't like watching themselves like perform. None of them do. They, they all kind of get grossed out by it. But this guy is the only one that just sits and watches clips of himself on the podcast, like talking. It's fucking, it's amazing to watch. Let's do watch it one more time. It's incredible, honestly, it's incredible. And I think that 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 solidifies my point of view or my my uh, my theory that the main ingredient to be successful online is delusion. Maybe even more so than lack of shame or being shameless. I think delusion is the most important thing. If you're delusional about how good you are and how great you are, you the sky's the limit. But unfortunately, most of us, myself included, we have um not even imposter syndrome is the word, but you sometimes think you're undeserving of stuff. You sometimes question yourself. You sometimes think, what's the point? Like you have all those things niggling things. But the the real redacted one, the real winners in this one are the redacted ones that don't think any of that. They think, no, I am I am the next I am the next Joe Rogan. Do you know what I mean? That's what they think. They think, no, I am the I am the guy. I'm deserving of this. This is my do you know what I mean that that's how it kind of that's how they become successful actually. Um it's actually it's it's actually something that people should give them more credit more credit for. But you know, people giving Brendan Shaw credit is probably not very easy to do. Um the 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 Amy said I wish I wasn't joking jerking his lips up when he was watching it so fucking <laughs> Amy. <laughs> oh, amazing. Um duh, 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 duh. what people saying in the chat, you low cost, check out the low berry. <laughs> Who said that? King Yeti. If you like low cows, check out the low berry. Oh mate, amazing. 